can get. Hi, everyone, and welcome to First Things First. Getting settled here, getting set, ready to go on a Thursday morning. I'm Jenna Wolf. That's Chris Carter, the Hall of Famer. This is the great champion. Uh -huh. Chris Carter, Hall of Big Famer. Big night for CC. And New York City basketball champion, C. Appreciate it. My, my young studs. Air five. Oh. I, Fam, got you, Jim. <laughs> got I, you. Apologies that I couldn't be there. But we had, what, we had a dozen members of the staff there cheering you on at Barclays? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, Vegas had us at a 15-point favorite. We're so glad you didn't bet on us because that's what gave us there. Yeah, you guys ended up covering. Nice. Speaking of gambling. Speaking Jenna of gambling, I won some money from Nick Wright. Mm -hmm. It's, not about, corner it's now. not about the gambling. It's about taking money from Nick Wright. And Steph's watching, just yeah. so you know. No, your, I didn't do it. Your Steph. lovely wife, Steph, yep. is gambling for three consecutive nope. days. No, that's not and true. And text me this morning, nope. what are we betting on tonight? Not, right. not happening. Two, you know. What's the time it come? 2.30? 2.48 a.m. Wolf already getting the itch. <laughs> Where are the lines? There's no NBA games tonight. And what can I gamble on? What about baseball? How do I do it? So Not, in fact, true. Anyway. I got the text right here. We've got an slave of wonderful NBA yes, action to talk about mm -hmm. the postseason matchups are all set and let's start with that we bid a fond farewell to the 2017 2018 NBA regular season seedings are set matchups are made and let the pundits do their thing now let's start in the West no surprise as the Rockets are the one seed and the reigning champs the Warriors they're the two Golden State limping into the playoffs going seven and ten down the stretch without Steph Curry their matchup in the first round the seven seed Spurs without Kawhi Leonard. All right, CC, let's kick the conversation off here. What do you think? Can the Spurs challenge the Warriors, given what we've seen of the Warriors down this last stretch here? Yeah, if it's the same Warriors team we've seen the last 15 games, they would challenge. But I don't think that this will be the same team. I think that the one thing that you will see is they will be drastically better defensively. Like, I, if last night, if you're a fan of the NBA, you should have watched the Denver Denver play against Minnesota. If you want to get a snapshot of what's getting ready to happen this weekend, that's the kind of basketball you're getting ready to see. It's almost like a throwback to the 1990s, early 2000s as far as the physicality. Like things are going to pick up. The pace of the game will pick up from a defensive intensity standpoint. Now the pace of play as far as scoring buckets, because no, things will be more contested. I believe Golden State will be one of the leaders. They have been more successful than any NBA team. They did not forget how to win. They got a little lackadaisical at the end of the season because of trying to rest. Also, the double injury of Steph Curry. Yes, they couldn't get the number one seed, but I expect to see a better Golden State team in round one than we saw the last month of the season. I'd like to congratulate the Golden State Warriors on advancing to round two of these NBA playoffs because they, I said a few weeks ago, I don't care if Steph's there for round one. A team with KD, Clay, and Draymond is not losing in round one. And then we saw this team look shaky for a couple weeks, and I start looking at the bracket. I'm like, oh, man, if they get Minnesota with Jimmy Butler coming back, Carl Anthony Towns is a tough enough matchup to where the Warriors can't necessarily play that small ball they like to do. Minnesota could give them trouble. How about Utah? One of the four hottest teams in basketball the last 35 mm -hmm. games with probably defensive player of the year Rudy Gobert with Donovan Mitchell as a wing. Like, they could maybe push them a little bit. OKC, when you don't have Steph out there and just Russ running on hatred and energy. Like, could they present them some trouble? Maybe. The one team that I was most confident the Warriors wanted to get is the team they got, San Antonio. Like, the only matchup edge the Spurs have is the coaching edge, if you ask me. Like, that's the only one. Um, I would say another struggle is going to be inside. They're going to have to, they're gonna have to deal with the height. Gasol, like, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, they're going to have to deal. Ken... Can San Antonio dominate the boards? Because if they're able to dominate the boards, they're able to slow them down from getting out into transition, which that's what Golden State wants to do. The, however, I agree with you there, C, but the, the one thing the Spurs don't have that the Pelicans had, that the Blazers had, that the Thunder had, that the Jazz had, is a perimeter player that scares you. A perimeter player that can take advantage of Quinn Cook being out there. A perimeter player that can punish you because you don't have Steph Curry to match him. DeJounte Murray is not scaring anyone. Tony Parker at this point in his career is not scaring anyone. So I, if the Warriors could have said, if they could have set the bracket the way they wanted it, what they would have said is Spurs in round one, and then if we could choose round two, 
Blazers Pelicans winner works for us. Like, so I don't, I was, a few weeks ago, I was certainly wouldn't have any trouble in round one. Right. Then I had to look at the evidence from the last few weeks. I was like, oh, they get Minnesota. Maybe there could be some problems. I don't see any way the San Antonio Spurs do more than win one basketball game in this series. Not without Kawhi, and we know Kawhi's not coming back. Okay, well, one of the players that we are going to all be focused on is the guy over your shoulder, CeCe, and that's Kevin Durant, who was shaky mm -hmm. at best coming down the stretch, where a lot of people said, well, when Steph's out, you look to K KD as your leader, and he'll step up, and he'll sort of guide this team and motivate and put the points up and keep them in it. He hasn't done that. How much now does KD have to prove uh, heading into this first round against the Spurs? Well, you're in the playoffs now. Uh, you're talking about this is where legacies are made, not in the last 12 games. Um, to think Kevin Durant didn't, or he played bad down the stretch, it wasn't that he played bad. It's just he wasn't the type of leader that people wanted. People thought the offense was going to run through him. But you can't change the system in Golden State. That, that's not his fault. Kevin Durant is the second best player in the world. That's what you'll see in the playoffs. You're talking about matchups? Who do they have going to be able to take him, take him out of this game? Right. No one. All right, he is one of the most prolific scorers that we have ever seen. You talk about Kevin Durant, what did he say uh, about LeBron? LeBron likes to work on his body. I like working on my shot. Kevin Durant, he, if him and James Harden will probably be the most offensively in the first round of the playoffs. Those are the guys that present the most matchups against you. Like, I, I guarantee you, Kevin Durant will take the initiative to the offense. He knows what's at stake. So, um, and Kawhi not being there. Like, they don't have the answer for KD. I, I expect KD to be, until Steph comes back, to take on. Because you've had time Got to look now. at it. You've had time to think about it. And you're playing for everything. You can get eliminated. So I don't believe that's going to be a problem. And I believe that Steve Kerr will come up with an offensive system that will get KD involved. And they will try to get that, in transition. That starts in the postseason? He'll just come up? Why, why hasn't he come up with it well, in the last couple I, weeks? I think that they, in the postseason, you are going to scheme series by series. So you're going to have, almost, I don't want to say a totally different system, but a different outlook against the Spurs in round you have one. different goals. That, right, and, and different ways to attack. Because you're playing the same team every other day, essentially, for two weeks. So you are, so you, the, that's And why, all they've told us, all year is it's the playoffs. We can't. We and the f the switch is flipped for game one. It well, just flipped. It's going like to that? have to for them. Jenna. They have dominated pro basketball. Outside of Draymond Green getting suspended a couple years ago, they would be going for number four. Okay, not number one, not number two. I know. I'm just telling you what I see and what I've seen in the last couple weeks without their guy well, in I, the lineup. Listen, I I I could have bought into it with maybe a different matchup with Minnesota. By the way, I talked about the bracket breaking well for Golden State. Houston's going to have to go through their toughest possible matchups. They're going to have to go through Minnesota, which is as good of an eight seed because they're not a real eight seed. They're an eight seed because the best player on their team missed a month and a half, and then either OKC or Utah. But to answer your question about Durant, listen, this would be total disaster if Golden State does not get out of the first round, not only for the team, but particularly for him. It will, I don't want to say it would erase what he gained with that finals MVP, but it would make people look at him in a different light. I don't think that's possible for them. Like, I don't think that's going to happen. It would, barring I, significant injury. Yes, of course. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Barring, barring KD all of a sudden having to miss three games because it gets cracked ribs again, or Draymond something happened to him, or Clay something happening yes. to him. I, assuming they are as healthy in the playoffs as they are as we sit here this moment, I don't think the Spurs can beat them. And if they did beat them, then all of a sudden Kevin Durant's going to face a whirlwind the likes of which he never had. Yes, we have seen also teams struggle coming down the stretch. With the NBA season, number one, the NBA season is too long, all right? So what Golden State did, we've never seen a team like them, but we have seen teams that have been successful that they didn't care about the, the games in in April, in the, at the end of March, because right. they, they didn't really matter that much because they have such winning pedigrees and they're so much more talented than the other teams that they can turn it on. So it's not foreign to us that Golden State would turn it on. Cleveland has done this. We have seen other teams do this. So we expect Golden State to do that also. What I will say, Jenna, is I'll tell you what Greg Popovich, I would imagine, is telling his team. Win game one and see what happens. Win game one, steal home court. Put the pressure on Golden State. Have Golden State feeling like we're in a must-win game all of a sudden in game two. Like, 
win game one and see what happens. Now, I don't think they have enough talent. I don't think their backcourt's good enough. I don't think they have enough depth on the roster. Like, I, I just don't think you, they can do that. But when Pop is saying win game one like we could have in the Western Conference Finals last year and see what happens. That's the message he's given his team. Is the NBA postseason like Christmas for it's you? The, this I've is never my seen you this excited at 6 I've never done a show like this. For I'm so excited. I see it. It's bubbling oh, over. So CC, we're just going to have to keep him. Oh, well, this is CC time, too. Bit. I'm so excited. I know, but. Hey, uh, coming up, could the Patriots be looking to draft for Tom Brady's replacement? Do a little basketball, do a little football. The answer next on First Things First. Well, that's in your hand, bro. You punch basketball a guy in the game?